Imagine this, a valley couple learned their home is actually being advertised as a hotel on the internet and they say they didn't know about it until the homeowners association notified them. And now the battle over the bill is on with the HOA. News 5's Greg Mockerger is now live with much more on this. This is an odd one, Greg. It is, uh, because the HOA was the one that pointed it out. And you know, many HOAs, yours included, probably keep an eye on business activity and they restrict it in the neighborhood. In many communities, the business activity that everybody is worried about and concerned about is rental properties. This homeowner thinks he is perhaps being singled out for that even though he shows proof he didn't do that. You have been invited inside this home in Anthem, welcomed by the Bass Majans. And there are a master, uh, the living room, and a great room, and the kitchen. I checked it out this afternoon, got the tour of the four-bedroom place. Heard how a posting on a website for a bed and breakfast offered all this. Ten rooms even. A deal that surprised even them. Available starting at $95 a night. But they are the ones with serious reservations. They say they didn't make the offer. A website contact told me it looked like a fake posting. And they did get it removed hours after finding out about it. In a strongly worded and legal letter. Now there's a $400 bill. We're convicted before even finding out whether we had this bed and breakfast. So at this point, we're, uh, we're into the process uh, almost a year and a half, and uh, now they're going to lean our house. Despite my repeated attempts to talk to the association and the lawyers about this particular case, managers were unavailable for an on-camera interview or a phone call. We're never going to do anything but make the attorneys wealthy and the community upset. The letters uh, offer some explanation. One says a joke or not, uh, the letters were mailed out and someone has to pay the lawyers. Why should the other owners if they weren't involved? This owner would say he wasn't involved in it technically. He is getting his own lawyer and plans to fight it, even though it could be solved by paying $400 as a matter of principle. Live in Phoenix, Greg Mocker, CBS 5 News.